Hello and welcome along to the channel once again. Peter Rising here, Microsoft MVP. In this video series, we are going to take a look at Azure Active Directory and Microsoft 365. These are terms that as we go along, you will find are often interchangeable, along with an older term, Office 365, which still gets used a lot today. We're going to look at learning these technologies from the ground up starting with things like how you set up your first Microsoft 365 tenant, how you introduce a domain, how you license your tenant, and so on and so forth. And as we progress through, we'll get into more complex subjects like managing users, groups, security settings, compliance settings. We're gonna go all through how you learn Azure Active Directory and Microsoft 365 and how you administer your tenant. This series will also be dual purpose. I'm intending to follow the new Microsoft certification guide for the MS-102 beta examination, which has recently been released and is intended to replace two existing exams, which will be retiring soon, those being the MS-100 and MS-101 exams. So if you're looking to get certified, if you want to get the new MS-102 certification, if you're just brand new at Microsoft Technologies, if you're looking into moving into uh, Microsoft uh, as a career within tech, wherever you may be in that journey, whether you are of school leaver age or coming out of university or just changing from one career path to another, I'm hoping that you will find this series useful. Um, we're gonna follow the uh, exam outline quite precisely as a, as a guideline for the upcoming videos, uh, but we'll go at a very, very uh, slow and easy pace to begin with and, and ease you in. So we'll get started in a moment with setting up a Microsoft 365 tenant. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a lot out of it. Let's dive in. So we're gonna get started by taking a quick look at the study guide for exam number MS-102, the Microsoft 365 Administrator. Um, even if you're not planning to take the exam, this is a very, very good guide to follow in learning uh, Microsoft 365 and uh, Azure Active Directory. So this can be found quite easily on the Microsoft Learn web pages for the uh, MS-102. 102 exam and you can download this guide uh, as a PDF. So let's take a little look through this guide. First of all, the objectives of the exam. So if you are going to take this exam, uh, these are the skills in this guide that are measured and candidates for this certification will be Microsoft 365 administrators who deploy and manage Microsoft 365. They will perform Microsoft 365 tenant level implementation and administration of cloud and hybrid environments. So there are four key headers uh, that are part of what make up the score for this exam. And when you take a Microsoft exam, um, you are required to get a certain number of points to successfully pass. It is normally 700 is the passing grade to pass the test when you sit it. And it's broken down into these four sections here. Deploy and manage a Microsoft 365 tenant. That's going to account for 25 to 30% of the score. Implement and manage identity and access in Azure Active Directory, which is going to account for 25 to 30% again. Then manage security and threats by using Microsoft 365 Defender. Again, same uh, percentages there. And finally, it looks at compliance and managing compliance by using Microsoft Purview, which will take about 15 to 20% of your overall exam score. So we are going to look at this first section here, deploy and manage a Microsoft 365 tenant. And within these sections, we actually have subsections. So uh, the first of which is implement and manage a Microsoft 365 tenant. And as part of that, we will create a tenant, implement and manage domains, configure organizational settings, 
including security, privacy, and profile. Identify and respond to service health issues. Configure notifications in service health and monitor adoption and usage. So think of this as our first section. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started and we will create a tenant. So the first task we need to complete in implementing and managing a Microsoft 365 tenant is to actually create a tenant. But what exactly is a tenant? Well, a Microsoft 365 tenant is a dedicated instance of the services of Microsoft 365 and your organization data stored within a specific default location, such as Europe or North America or Asia. And that location is specified when you create the tenant for your organization. But what is the first step in creating a tenant? Well, you may already have a subscription that you've purchased, or one may have been purchased or provided for you from a, a Microsoft partner. But if you need to get one set up, then the easiest and quickest way of doing so is to create a free one month trial of some description. And you can very easily search for this option by um, searching for uh, Office 365 trial uh, in your favorite web browser search engines such as Google or Bing. And here we can see we have an option to try one month free of Microsoft 365 or Office 365. So now I'm ready to make my selection. I'm gonna try the Microsoft 365 Business Premium for one month for free. So if I click onto that option, it's going to take me into the screen that you can see now. And it's going to ask us to get started by entering a work or school email address and check to see if you need to create a new account for Microsoft 365 Business Premium trial. So if I added one which is already tied to a Microsoft 365 tenant, it would detect that and say, you cannot proceed with this address. You need to select another one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop in an email address that I specifically created for this. And it's an outlook.com address. So here it's telling me that it looks like I need to create a new account. Let's get me started. Continue as this address, this outlook.com address. Yes, I want to do that. And on the right here, I can see that I'm signing up for a trial and I'm getting up to 25 users during the trial and the trial includes the same features as the paid product. You will note that a credit card is required for future billing and the paid subscription will start when the trial ends. So let's set up the account. I'll just get some details. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on to next. It will ask you to verify your identity here. Now you'll see that I've put a fake telephone number in here because I don't want to share mine with you on this video. So I'm going to pause the video here, put the correct number in, and I'm going to verify with my verification code. Now that I'm verified with my text message, I need to choose a username and my domain name, or more precisely, my tenant name. This here will be my tenant name. It will be in the form of uh, domain name dot on microsoft.com now you can add your own domains in and we'll cover that in the next video but this is your tenant domain name so um, there was a time when you would have to be quite careful about uh, what you input here as the uh, as the tenant name because you you can't change that and whilst that is still um, largely the case you can actually add other dot uh, on microsoft.com uh, domain names into the tenant now as well. So um, what I will do here as I will just proceed with the username as what it is there, I will create a password. And confirm. And let's click on next. Now here we need to put in the quantity and payment uh, details. The first month is free and we can have up to 25 during the trial. So let's just uh, take this up to, to five users uh, and you can adjust that as needed. 
but be aware that at the end of that period, you will be charged for those five users. So uh, do be careful uh, with that. Um, next, we need to add a payment method. Now, the payment methods that you can add are these type of cards, Visa, American Express, or MasterCard. So fill in the card details, the security code, all the usual sort of stuff, uh, and then click on Save. For obvious reasons, I will skip this part in the video. And now that the payment information has all gone through, we are taken into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So we are complete. We have a tenant set up and we can see here, if we click on the username there, we have our username. We have uh, peter.rising at peterrisingtech.microsoft.com, which is the tenant name that we set up. There's one of my other tenants uh, there. And we can see some cards here on the admin center page. We can see some recommended steps. We can see some user management and some billing information and links to training guides. And we can see on the left-hand navigation menu here all of the options we have in our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So there you have it. That is the first in our video series on setting up Microsoft 365 and Azure AD. And we have created a Microsoft 365 tenant. And look how easy it was. It was nice and simple. There is so much more to come as we explore more of Azure AD, Microsoft 365, and learn the skills we need in order to take and pass the MS 102 certification exam. Thank you so much for your time. Please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments and questions if you have any. Please hit that subscribe button. That's going to help me so much to grow the channel and we can build our community as we go with our video series. And there's lots more to come as well, not just this series. So do look out for other videos and you can be notified if you hit that notification bell. That is absolutely wonderful. So until next time, I will be back very, very soon with our next video where we will be adding a domain into our newly created tenant. You all take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.